So I, I just I just start off by by reading um, a little account from um, from the Bullingdon District Petty Sessions of the County Call Oxford on the 14th of July 1877. Henry Messenger was in prison for three weeks with hard labour for assaulting the landlady of the Mason's Arms. Henry Messenger, labourer, Henry Quarry, was charged with being drunk and riotous at that place on the fourth um, on the seventh and also with assaulting Charlotte Rivers at the same time and place. Defendant pleaded not guilty. Charlotte Rivers, landlady of the Mason's Arms, Hedrington Quarry, said that on the night in question, about half past nine, there were several people in the house. The defendant came into the tap room drunk and attempted to fight. She ordered him out and he, after using bad language, took her by the, air, ha, ha, took her by the arm and knocked her head against the door. Nathaniel Rivers, husband of, the, husband of the last witness, said he saw the defendant making disturbance in the house and to catch hold of his wife's arms. Police Constable White, afterwards put him out. Police Constable White said he had a disturbance in the witness's house and was and on going there requested by the landlady to put the defendant out. He did so and afterwards stood for a short distance from the house and used bad language for <laughs> some considerable time. <laughs> Wisdom Smith was called for the defence and he said the landlady did not order the defendant out and she struck him first and he only endeavoured to ward off her blows committed for three weeks imprisonment with hard labour. <laughs> um, never a dull moment, never a dull moment, never a dull moment.